Hello and welcome. This is Real Numbers video number 13 and in this video we are going to learn about a theorem that involves rational number with non-terminating and recurring decimal expansion. So let's quickly take a look at the theorem and then we will take a look at some examples. So the theorem goes like this. If we have a rational number which is of the form p by q and the prime factorization of q is not, not of the form 2 raised to the power m times 5 raised to the power n, where m, n are non-negative integers. If we have a situation like that, then the decimal expansion of the rational number will always be non-terminating and recurring. Meaning when we actually do the division, we will see it is non-terminating and recurring. Now let's take a look at some examples and see if it is indeed true. So basically we are going to take a number, numerator, and divide that by denominator now we do not want 2 to the power m times 5 to the power n. We don't want that, right? Meaning once our number is expressed in the form of co-prime number, that means there are no common factors, and if the denominator is not in the form, then we will always get non-terminating and recurring. All right, so let's take a look at an example. How about we take a prime factor 3, which is not 2 and 5, right? So we have to get a number in the numerator and the denominator is 3. So now we cannot take a factor because we have to have co-prime number. So let's say we take something like maybe the number uh, 17. So 17 divided by 3. See what happens. So if we have this, so we actually do, do the division. So we will see that 3 5 sir, 15. So write 15 here then 2, then we put a decimal, and then we get a 0. Now 3, 6 are 18, 18. Then we get again 2, again 0, 6, and again this will be 18, and so on, so forth. 2 remainder. So it looks like we are going to continuously get 6, 6, 6. So indeed here, it seems to be true that our decimal expansion is non-terminating and repeated. Let's take a look at one more example. So here, let's clear this up. And this time, let's take a number. Let's say maybe the denominator is 7. And the numerator could be, let's say, maybe we take something like 2 times 5 times 3. I'm randomly writing these numbers. So if a number is like this, so what will this number be? So 30. All right. So we have 30 divided by 7. So let's do this division and see if we indeed get non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So here we have 30. Let's divide this by 7. So 7, 4 are 28. And we'll get 2. So we'll put a decimal. So we'll get 0. Now 7, 2 are 14. 4. So this will be 6, 0. 7, I believe 8 are 56. Right? 56. So we will get 4, 0. Now, 7, uh, 5, sir, 35, 35, so 5 over here, 50, now 7, 7s are 49, 49, that's 2 over here, so we have now 50 and 49, and then we'll get 1 and 0, then we will have 7, 1s are 7, and then we will get 3 remainder, 0. And then we will have 7, 4, sir, 28, 2, 8. So we will have 2, 0. Then we will have 7, 2, sir, 7, 2, sir, 14. So it looks like we are starting to repeat. So this is 2 and we had 2 here. That means from here, on it is going to start to repeat because we got a 2 and then we will see we will get an 8, then we will get a 5, then we will get a 7, then we will get a 1, then we will get a 4 and if you do this in a calculator quickly or online you will see that this will keep repeating. So again here we see an example of non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So in other words if our rational number is of the, P, of the form p by q and it is both co-prime and if our denominator is not of the form 2 to the power m 
times 5 to the power n. If it is not of the form, then simply looking at the denominator, we can tell that our division, without doing the division, we can say that the decimal expansion is non-terminating and recurring.